The Valkyries. A howling gale sent huge waves crashing up the shingle beach, showering Brightbourne seafront with spray. Sarah and Jamie zipped up their anoraks against the biting, buffeting wind. I can't believe how the weather's changed. It was brilliant yesterday. Ah, summer's over. Maybe it's just as well we're going back to school next week. I suppose you're right. There's nowhere more depressing than the sea soap when the weather's lousy and all the shops are shut. Let's get some chocolate. News agent's shut as well. The twits? They left this board outside. <sighs> Must have blown over in the wind. See the headline? Mystery plague hits hospital. Wonder what that's all about. Maybe that's why the place is deserted. They've all got the plague. Except those two old men by the bus stop. The sea's really rough. Look, white horses. What? That's what the waves are called when they break far out to sea. Wow. There's a huge wave coming. Look, riders in the foam. Where? In the waves, look. Ghostly shapes, shadows, warriors riding to battle. You're seeing things. All I can see is a load of water. Look out! The wave's going to hit those men! Hey, look out! Did you see that? The wave picked that man up like a rag doll! There's nothing we can do. He's gone, swept out to sea. Quick! The wave didn't get the other man. Come on! <laughs> now I'm the last one. Don't try to talk. Keep still. We'll get an ambulance. No, no time. I'm the last one, I tell you. Time is running out. There's a bus coming. We can take you home. Uh, yeah. Soaked to the skin. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Up we go. What happened? He's had a terrible shock. We're taking him home. Can you tell us where you live, sir? 16 Wagner Street. Please be driver. Not sure I've got enough of the fare. Oh, don't worry about the fares, love. I can see this is an emergency. I know Wagner Street. I'll drop you on the corner. Thanks. Thanks very much. You're welcome. We're Sarah and Jamie. <laughs> Name's Fred. Fred Smith. This is my house. Uh, let me... I'll make some nice hot tea. Just the thing when you've had a shock. Oh, Tor. Wow, all those test tubes. Are you a scientist? Don't touch anything. Lives may be lost. Sorry. Ah, that's lovely, Duck. Here's your tea. Tor. Fred, mm? what did you mean when you said you were the last one? Mm. Ah, it's a long story. It all started before you two were born in the last war. I was in the Red Cross. Ever heard of the Dunkirk evacuation? I saw a film on telly about it once. I think we lost. What happened? Oh, it was chaos. Thousands of troops trapped on a beach no bigger than the one here at Brightbourne. All sitting ducks for the German Stukas. Dive bombers screaming over our heads. Wounded men everywhere, lying helpless on the beach. Me and my stretcher party, there were five of us, Helped carry them to the boats under the noses of the German guns. We brought off over a hundred men between us. Well, to cut a long story short, we was given medals. They called us heroes. But really, we were just doing our job. 
be kept in touch, as old comrades do. Then, a few months ago, my friends started to disappear one by one. Not one was ever found. Now, with poor Jim drowned, I'm the last one. But his death was an accident. Yeah. Wasn't it? No accident. He was taken like the others. Who by? The Valkyries. They've taken him to Valhalla, what you'd call heaven. They tried to get Jim and me in one fell swoop. I was lucky, but they'll be back. What are the Valkyries? Uh, the daughters of Odin, who carries the bodies of the dead heroes to Valhalla. <sighs> Did you hear of the mystery illness at Northwick Hospital? We saw a headline about it, but what's that got to do with anything? My granddaughter's in a coma there, along with 20 other kids. The doctors are mystified. By a fluke, I think I've stumbled on a cure. I'm a chemist, retired now, of course. The serum's in that bottle. But that's brilliant. You'll be a hero all over again. Not if I can't get to the hospital. If I can just save my granddaughter and those other poor kids, I'll die happy. But the Valkyries will stop at nothing. we got to leave. No. Shouldn't we phone the police about your friend? No, they'll ask all sorts of questions. I tell you, there's no time. <sighs> Mustn't forget my findings. You coming or what? Mm, OK. Good. My car's outside. Just my luck. A traffic jam. Looks like the lights have failed. More time wasted. There's a bunch of mounted police coming up behind us. <gasps> it's the Valkyries! What? When you look through the window, they look like ordinary police. But look in the mirror and they're warriors. With swords and shields, the whole bit. They're after us. Drive! Blimey! You're right! <gasps> Won't be long now. Northwick's just up there. Ah, wretched car. We'll have to leg it. Come on. It's only a mile or two to the hospital. We could try hitching. I think I can see lights. Must be a car coming. Suppose it's the Valkyries. You're right. We'll be sitting ducks. Hear that? Horses. The Valkyries. They'll hunt us down on this road. We'll have to cut across country. Wait! As soon as they see the car, the Valkyries will find our tracks. I've got it. You and Fred hide by the road. I'll run up and down the lane, leaving enough tracks for three people. They'll follow me and you can get away. I don't know. You'll probably get lost in the dark. Well, hurry up. They're coming. Yeah, the boy's got a point. Come on, my dear. Come on. Are not the one? Shall we take him instead, sister? Have you ever done anything heroic? Uh, I can't think of anything. Modest, eh? Most heroes are modest. We need heroes to take to Valhalla. You're not a hero, are you? Oh, no, no. I'm a regular scaredy cat. If I was a hero, I wouldn't be so frightened of you. But heroes can be frightened and still do heroic things. That's what makes them heroes. Yes, but I'm not that frightened. Yeah, boo to you, you horrible old bags. This is all most confusing. Most suspicious. I have a strange feeling, sisters, that this boy has heroically sacrificed himself to help others escape. No, you're wrong. I was so frightened of you, I ran away. Come, sisters. We are wasting time. It's Fred Smith we want. Can't you let him go? He's trying to save his granddaughter. 
She's in a coma in Northwick Hospital. So he's still playing the hero. Give him a little more time. Ha! Impossible. But thank you for telling us where he has gone. <laughs> we may be back for you later. Come, sisters! <laughs> <laughs> No more heroics for me from now on. Good job we got a lift. Didn't fancy the walk. You, you were very convincing, telling that man I was your sick grandfather. Ever tried acting? <laughs> well, at least we got to the hospital. Yeah. Now we have to save the sick children. Let's try the receptionist. Visiting hours are over. I must see a doctor. I've got a cure for the mystery plague. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, Come on, Grandad. Time to go. Well, I tell you, I've got the cure. Of course you have, and you can tell us all about it tomorrow. No. What's going on here? Uh, uh, this old geezer says he's got a cure for the mystery plague. I, I was just showing him out. Well, we can't afford to ignore help, no matter how unlikely the source. I'm Dr. Roberts. Uh, step oh, this way, sir. Oh, thank you, Doctor. There she is. There's Stephanie, my granddaughter. Nurse, the screens. Now, I believe this is the cure for the mystery plague. It's a blend of the juices of various green vegetables, the kind children don't usually eat. Spinach, cabbage, lettuce. I'm sure an injection could work wonders. I see. Well, the child's fading fast. I suppose there's no harm in trying. If this works, you'll be a hero. I'll give her the injection myself. There. Hi, it's me. Her, Jamie. Jamie! What is going on here? Dr. Roberts, is that your twin sister? She's an imposter. One of those Valkyries. I see my little masquerade has been discovered. Your time is up, Fred Smith. I'm ready. I've done what I had to do. Wait, you can't take him now. We gave him the chance to save his granddaughter. We can wait no longer. Fred Smith, you are ours now. She's disappeared. So's Fred. Most peculiar. Never seen anything like it. Look, Stephanie, she's waking up. Well, where am I? Stephanie, you're in hospital and you're going to be all right. It, it's a miracle. This is the miracle. Fred's little green bottle. And it's still half full. It's some kind of veggie juice. Your granddad bought it to make you better. Granddad, is he here? Uh, he had to fly. But he sends his love. Here's the juice, Doctor. Thank you. I'll get it analysed straight away. Good job Fred got here just in time, just before the Valkyrie came for him. Now I've made buckets of Fred's veggie juice and all the kids will be cured in no time. It'll be all in the papers. Wonder what the headline will be. How about Doc says eat your greens, kids? <laughs> <laughs> I don't pretend to understand all this or where that peculiar old man disappeared to. But it seems you two have played an important part in saving many children's lives. You're heroes. Shh! Don't say that! Someone might hear. Unusual sight. You don't often see so many mounted policewomen all at once. But the one in front looks familiar. And she looks as if she recognises you. They're a special unit. Yes, and they always get their man. Wonder who they're after now. The music in The Valkyries is taken from Ride of the Valkyries and Overture to Tannhauser by Wagner. In Ride of the Valkyries, Brass introduced the main theme, quite quietly at first.
Then it is repeated, sounding grander than before. With crashing cymbals and rolls from the snare drums, the piece reaches its first climax. brass set off again with the main tune, accompanied by the strings. The whole orchestra joins in, including a triangle that rings frantically high above the rest of the instruments. With thunderous brass chords and drum rolls, the piece reaches its climax. In the overture to Tannhauser, brass and wind play a slow, gentle introduction. Then this tune is taken up by the lower strings. The gentle introduction turns into a triumphant main theme played by the brass to a rhythmic string accompaniment. Then the brass and wind repeat the introductory few bars. A new tune, a joyful march, is played by the strings. The piece slows and quietens as a solo violin and viola play round each other. Soon, though, 
the triumphal march returns, played by the whole orchestra. The main theme, played by the brass with urgent string accompaniment and rolling drums, returns for the last time. Dramatic chords from the brass bring the overture to its end. These are just some of the highlights from Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries and Overture to Tannhauser. You are bound to discover more every time you listen. <laughs>